Hi, I'm Mike McLean, and this may look like an average suburban semi, but oh no, it's not. Any minute now, two top British families will burst in through these doors here, ready for action in what is in fact the magnificent House of Games Sporting Arena. The winners, well, they'll take home the gold medals, and if they're fast enough, they could come back for the final, where they could be crowned House of Games champions 2004. So forget about the glories of ancient Greece, and prepare to embrace a new sporting future. I say, let trumpets sound! First from the village in Essex that gave the world Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen, which is good enough for me, it's Hockley's Arsenal-loving Godsell family. Their opponents today come from the county that count composer Edward Elgar and Toya Wilcox among its illustrious offspring. It's Kettleby's Manchester United-loving Goss family. Families are not only playing for family pride, but the fact that they really do want to humiliate each other. So let's see more about the families and their grievances. Certainly no love lost there with those two families. In fact, those two families, as I speak right now, are in that arena with our fitness expert, Lucy Arrowsmith. She's just showing them some essential warm-up movements, making sure that the body's right, the blood's flowing, because later on, the blood will be flowing if they don't win. But now it's time to meet a man that is a legend. Well, he is in my eyes. Who could it be? Yeah, you've got it. It's Mr. Sid Waddell. Sid, uh, you're looking forward to today's events? Absolutely. I'll normally go to Garmisch, part in Kirchen, for jumping ski-wise. But we've got it off the stairs, did you? And how about put in the garden pot? Old Yorkshire expression, pots for rags. Yeah, it's garden pots for medals. We begin the action with 40 determined males looking at the course. They are Ashley Godsell, Steve Goss, Brian Godsell, Ellis Flashman Goss. Drinks have to be taken three times during the race. Officials will monitor everything. Here we go. 26 laps! And straight away Ellis, off like a flash in the blue, miles ahead of anybody. Brian's bolt stops Steve coming through in the blue. And at the moment Ashley bringing up the rear. Seems to be trying some blocking techniques, he's nearly being lapped now. Now Ashley is now third. And Dad got to fourth, there's Ellis in the blue, takes his first drink. Built like a streamlined webby. That's the order. The Reds are second in the shape of Brian. As off Ellis goes. Having sunned down like a thirsty duck. His dad is out second. Snatching it on. This is show pony stuff pleasing the Goss fan. Well, when the Bross lot called Goss, it's a song in the moment for the lads in blue who support Man U. 16th lap, Ellis. Ellis now just being called out for his second drink as everybody else trails mile wildly back. Take a drink. Two drinks in front. Maximum points on the cards for the Blues. Showing on tap to Steve Goss. Ellis just on a showboat run now. Racing up towards a drink break before the others have finished their second drink break what an incredible performance by the blues all that early needle more needle than a pin factory out goes Ellis for his last drink he's walking this meanwhile Ashley you'd think he was in a root beer convention he's taking a time out he's a thirsty lad this is a running marathon, not a drinking, sinking marathon. Ash, strange showing now on Steve Goss as he takes his ultimate drink. Winner, the Whippet, Ellis in the blue. Just sits there, proud, not pompous. Second is Dad, maximum marks for the Goss family. Brian Park. If Arsenal train like this, they get nowhere. Bit of the Arsenal defensive tactics from Ash in replay. He tried to do it at Johnny Adams' way. 
Whack him and smack him. Meanwhile, he re-enters the fray for his last few laps. Brave to finish, but for my money, he spent more time drinking than thinking. Will the self stand it as the Godsells flop? Confirming the scores then, Godsells zip. The triumphant Gossels fall. Now on to what we call Num Man's Land. Where we are a drip with hardy lilies, foxgloves, and hydrangeas. And two stout, and I mean stout ladies, are coming out and put them. First of all, Hazel Goss in the blue, and Beverly Godsell in the red. And more than family honour at stake, she's doing this for the Arsenal, and this lady's a man you support her. Red competitor Beverly, chalk up and select your first pot. Beverly will tickle herself with a bit of talc. I hope it doesn't go up the nose of the ref. Beverly then. She chooses Hydrangea. She's a big girl. Uh, Red the left Beverly, arm. Prepare to toss your pot. Uh, the left arm is time. the uh, guide arm. Rather like cricket bat in. And the power goes with the right. The back arm. The mark is where the orange... Hot. Red competitor Beverly tossed a foul pot on her first attempt. Oh, oh, no. And here is a look again. Yeah, the right foot came out of the blue circle. Blue competitor Good call Hazel. by the ref. Chalk up and select your first pot. So great advantage for the Gossers to cash in on the magnificent earlier marathon. Blue competitor Hazel, prepare to toss your first pot in your own time. Oh, she's holding this a bit backward for my liking. Well, I didn't get much elevation, but it was a fair toss as they burrow down past Nomi there, no man's land, to find the exact mark of where the orange hit the deck first. The orange part of the pot, remember. <laughs> She'll be pleased with that over four minutes. 4 9 Right, just watch the old foot movement. She's got to stay in. I could sometimes... Now that was very good. That was nearly a match, I do believe. Great potting. Very pleased. Yes, leaps ahead for 17. What a tournament. Meanwhile, back to Basil Goss. On a fox glove. Faster flinging for the Cornish floral dance. But is it the distance? On the repeat there. As you match just over four meters. Oh, nearly! Less than a tenth of a meter in it! What a standard! <laughs> Beverly, 4.30 on Beverly attention! Hazel, prepare to touch your pot. You could in touch with time. a pair of garden shears! This to win it! It's the best ever effort! Incredible! Blue competitor Hazel tossed her final pot, 4 metres, 24. Josh Beverly Field! is the winner. Less than a tenth of a metre, what a tournament! The Godsells back in biz with three to the Gosses four. Give up. Congratulations, Beverly. Well done. Oh, put me down! Put me down! Put me down! Whoa, there's no stopping you, is there, Beverly? Oh, no, not now. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> Four metres thirty, you must be very, very ecstatic. I'm chuffed. Chuffed a bit. Hazel. I know. I tried my hardest, you know, but I couldn't manage it on the last part. A bit like Man United this season. I mean, you're trailing to the Arsenal, aren't you? I know, but what happens in the end, we come through in the end. Talk me through your training, through some, some, some of the training that you've done. Well, in the gym, I go on the treadmill and I'm doing my stretching. Do you turn it on? And I do turn... <laughs> That's the Thank thing. It, 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 it's all right going on it, but you've <laughs> got to turn it on, Hazel. That's the next step. At the top of the stairs, Lucy Godsell prepares. Weight 90 kilogram. That's nearly 14 stun. 15 years of age. Can she fling her weight? Not on the evidence of that jump. Commentators have got to be cool. No weight 
behind the no elevation disappointing one point one one meters Ellis the whippet aged 14 a third less weight in action not a lot of coordination that clunk a heavyish landing I think he's got another foot in his range anyway could well go over two meters 1.87 Right then, and things looking even less juicy for Lucy. A backward flip with her foot did not improve the scoring one iota. Less than a meter. I'm sure, Ellis will improve his coordination. Well, now got a twist on, flying sideways does not usually help with this. Because it means logically your back foot's too far back. Not as good a jump, 1.87 meters lean at the moment. Well, Lucy, get both legs in line, no twist sidewards, but I think it's disappointing. Be surprised with any more than 1.5. Just under at 1.25, so Ellis can show both now. And he does! A lovely flick of the hips at the very end, though. Got extra elevation. I think that's his best one. On his final attempt, blue competitor Ellis jumped 1 metre 88. <laughs> Snitches just beyond 1.87. Piles on. More marks for the Goss as they lead 3 7. Bit of pride for the Goss family there. Well, I told you I was going to perform, didn't I? So I had to pull out all the stocks and bring one up and beat these reds to the bottom. You must be very pleased. It's now seven points to three for the Goss family. You've extended the lead. You must be ecstatic. Yeah, I'm steaming, man. We're going to win this with ease. There's lots to play for. Remember, this is a sporting arena where the gold medals count. Still to come, we turn thrust and parry into suck and carry as two big boys engage in the noble art of vacuum cleaner fencing. As for me, I'm going to hand out some oranges. Well done, Mike. You're learning, mate. Thank you very much indeed. Here, eat them. I'm a slow learner. Welcome back to the House of Games Sporting Arena. Today, it's the Godsell family versus the Goss family. After three events, the Godsell family have just got three points. But there, in the lead, it's the Goss family with seven points. Now to the man who even Darth Vader calls boss. <laughs> Our pussy fencing master, who demands maximum respect, gets maximum respect with a big R from Brian and Steve. Activate vacuum cleaners. They're in action. On guard. Fence! Six cloths each. Stephen on the aggressive right away. He's got to watch that silver line. Wasn't get his lead foot beyond it. He's well beyond it. Blue contestant, you must not cross the silver line. Replay shows exactly that he was over. Good six inches over the line. Fight! Nobody's lost any cloths yet. Aiming at the hip area, swings, a back eye view of the action. Blue contestant, you cross the silver line again. This is your first formal warning. Oh, warning. What's the line, Steve? On guard. He runs a tight ship, this our fence master. Talk about fences, he didn't sit on it. We see that line of action shot again. He's on the line again. Only four inches this time, but our legal eye spotted it. Both contestants are crossing the silver line. You receive your first formal warning. Whoa. One more and you will have your second and final warning. Whoa. One warning a oh, piece. No. Tension mounting. Brian three rags. Thanks. Steve holds on at two. Brian's in the lead. Brian fighting for the Arsenal as well as his family. Being a little more aggressive. Oh. Aiming at very dangerous body parts. Blue contestant crossed the silver line again. 
This is your second and final warning. Oh. Blue contestant has two dusters left. I'm good. It's not done and dusted yet. But one more X. And Steve will be down and out. Ryan on the attack. Steve once again near the line, but that's. We're out of time. Vacuum cleaners off. We see again the precision pointing of the back. We have a winner. Red! Despite warnings, the Godsills win that one. The peg back is 6 7. You've pulled it back. You must be very ecstatic. Very, very ecstatic. All it needed is a bit of clear mind and... Well, there's nothing and... clearer than your mind. Let's That's be honest right. there, Brian. <laughs> well, it's now seven points to six. Good news is you've got one event left. It's the uh, legendary 4x4 rolling pin relay. It's all to play for. You could nick it. Let's see what happens. Early advantage will be to the Blues in the shape of Hazel. One second for the points advantage. Then it's Lucy and Sherry on buckets. Ashley and Ellis will renew conflict on bikes. And Arsenal loving Brian and Manuel loving Stephen have the responsibility for the final leg. Here we go. Hazel off. Behind her, Bev. Nearly a collision on that corner. Oh, Aguero whipping up already. Hand over time to the two lasses in the bucket. In the lead then, Sherry for the Gosses. Closely stalked by Lucy for the Godsells. Both similar styles as they head for the lap of the city. Concentration on their faces. The good thing is that they are moving forward rather than slipping sideways, which has been why a lot of contestants have come a cropper. Come on, Jenny. Sherry still in the lead for the Blues. The Man United supporters. Lucy brings up the rear for the Austin supporters, and off they go. There's the star of our marathon, Ellis. Mean look on his chops. He's a cool dude normally, not here now. Oh, Conan Ashley, what's a gnome? Could have done without that. Ellis is going to be to the pool first. Ashley giving it everything. Oh, veers off wrong word. Takes a really bad tumble towards that fence. There's Ashley. Meanwhile, the cool dude in control here. Pointing to get him off and get in the drink. Oh, designer undies, Giorgio Who? He's Armani for the moment. Going one length for one leap. Odd style. As the Godsells cheer on their lad, he's still stripping down to the essential. He's been ordered to do an extra couple of lengths. Opponent not yet. Oh, don't believe it. The conflict bubbling over. Brian Godsell grabs the pin and flings the pound and Steve into the drink. What a turn up for the Brook. And he's gone, he hasn't even done his laps. Good mad is Brian Godsell going to the top of stairs without doing any laps. Here's the winner because Brian will be disqualified. That's confirmed, he chokes his. Roland pin out the pram. He chucks his headband out of the pram. This jump big time. He chucks his vest out of the pram. Meanwhile, this kid's trying to get out of the drink and the family aren't helping him. That's disappointment. Big time as we see the flashpoint. The biggest flashpoint we've had at House of Games. Compounded by going in the wrong door and missing out the run. Congratulations to you, the Goss family. But remember, it's not about the taking part, it's about the winning. So let's see that overall leaderboard and find out where you're placed. Only brief joy for the Gosses. They get bottom of the leaderboard with a time of 2.25, which is no good for further progress. Well, I hate to say it, the Godsell family, but you have to leave through the back door. Lucy, Brian, Beverly, and actually, I'm afraid you have to go. But thanks for taking part. Thank you. Thank you.
There they go, looking dejected. However, the Goss family, go with Lucy and get your gold medals. We'll see you next time for another sporting event from me and everybody here. Goodbye. Forget about Keown of Arsenal against Van Nistelrooy and Man United. This was a clash. Dad Stephen grins. Mom Hazel's happy. Cool dude Ellis is GFL and so is Sherry. Here's Commonwealth swimmer Lucy with the medals. And we look back on great gossisms. Steve wins the relay. Hazel toss great pots. Ross Master the banister as though as a booking brander. And Sherry negotiated the buckets like Captain Cook finding Australia. And I wouldn't mind betting that those flowers will get their first dampness from tears of proper pride.